Talk to me about the business and, and what's, what's working this business. Because in San Francisco, I don't know what things are like in the bars in New York, but in San Francisco, the, the particularly bourbon and whiskey, it just seems to be blowing up. In fact, right where the Bloomberg offices are in San Francisco and Pier 3, a new bar is opening. What's today? Wednesday, Thursday, it's a new bar called Hardwater. My sister-in-law is the chef there. Fried, okay, fried enough advertising. Bourbon. We have a guest here. It's big there. Tell us so about what's your up with that? Yes. Uh, well, yeah, American spirits are growing, and particularly the brown spirits category. And I think a lot of that has to do with the, the new uh, boom of craft distilling, which we're seeing uh, the, the boom since we started from 2005 till now. We went from about 60 small distilleries in the United States to about 300. No kidding. Uh, so it's just a, a huge explosion. And a lot of that uh, is a huge, uh, a huge benefit to small local farmers and agriculture as well. People forget that whiskey is actually an agricultural product. So it's really part of like a locavore craze. So is your market, who you're selling to, all right here in the U.S.? Or do you have an interest? audience? Uh, we've actually been selling in the EU for about four years. Um, so we've got, I think, about eight or nine states, uh, countries now outside the United States. We've been in Australia and we'll be in the UK this year. And what are your biggest markets in the U.S.? Uh, New York is obviously our biggest market. It's our backyard. Uh, San Francisco also, uh, California in general, Florida, Texas, Colorado, uh, Illinois. Uh, we've had a great success. What's throughout. your price point? Uh, so all of those are about line price between forty and fifty dollars a bottle. This is not cheap stuff we're talking about, right? I mean, when you talk about craft distilling, craft brewing, that kind of thing, is that trend going to continue given the current economic environment? Are people still going to continue to pay for this high quality, high end stuff? Well, we certainly hope so, and the trend that we see is is that yes, it is, uh, and it's not a, a cheap product. It's an ultra premium spirit, mostly because of the product, the process that we're employing. Uh, we do everything from hand. Uh, we actually select the grains that our farmers are growing. Uh, so we've got our fingers in every aspect of production, from seed selection all the way through the the waxing and the hand numbering of the bottle. Are, are the big companies also seeing this boom? Uh, you know, the big companies that are making it in, in enormous volumes, and presumably not as good as you, but. Uh, well, certainly some of them are as good as us. In fact, we, we partnered with William Grant & Sons a couple years back, which is a very renowned family-owned scotch company, uh, such as Belveni, Glenfiddich, and Hendrix, right. and Milagro. Uh, and we, we formed a deal where they purchased the Hudson Whiskey line from Settletown Spirits, our distillery, uh, and a long-term arrangement with them in the form of a production contract. So we continue to produce all of it for William Grant. They deal with international distribution, uh, and we're able to uh, focus solely on production. 